as in a trend with hotness, everybody will be your friend. You see this matter of Obriski, this thing only bring up so many lessons to uh, everybody. Because a uh, person where you share secret with, come they reveal them like this one by one. That person know me well for you. Uh, I'm not saying that I'm trusting with Bobreski, do or no do. Uh, this is still alleged. So as the matters they be, very dark man. Maybe one bone when no uh, some people swallow, don't release another second call recording. We consign Bobreski after they said him go prison, I be him no go prison. Now only him sabi that one. So uh, at this point. After watching or hearing this video you are about to watch right now, you go learn how to trust people. You be everybody, be your friend. So before I go on, everything in this video is allegedly. Alright, um, so it's time to give you people another call recording of Bob Risky when he was in detention. Now, this one has a lot of details. This one is well detailed. So now we'll see how everything plays. You understand? Not the part two of the other one. Mm, this one is another one. Now, this one was recorded on the 16th of May 2024. Now, the reason why I want to post this one now is because, to be honest, I was waiting for people that said they want to file a lawsuit to file the lawsuit. The ones where they say he made an innuendo, he did this one, did this one. In all honesty, yeah, I was waiting for that. But as nobody don't send the paper here, maybe they will send them tomorrow. Tomorrow is Monday. They will send them today. Today is Monday. You understand? But before they do it, let me post. Now, now no law. Now, no know you know endo. My own be say the corruption that went down in that prison must be unveiled, and anybody that has a hand in it must be casted. You understand? For those that have reputation that their name is involved, it is easy. Just clear yourself of this thing and penalize whoever is spreading rumors with your name. If it is rumor, that is if no be true. You understand? So all those talk of this thing, you people don't scare me one second. I swear to God Almighty, I am not even scared. I look at the whole thing and I'm like, okay, let me see what they are trying to do. When they are done, we continue what we want to do. You understand? So truth is, if you want Nigeria to be better, you won't respect nobody. I swear to God, forget respect. Nigeria can be better if we keep on doing all selected criticism. Is that what it is? But anyways, let's start. Hello? Yes. Hello? Hello, hi. Bob, how you doing? I'm okay. Oh. You know, are you out yet? I'm not out there. Oh my god. Okay, so quick, but I don't have enough time because, um, mm. I just had to, I can't really, I don't, but the reason why I'm even trying to talk to you about this is because obviously I've not been talking to anybody. I've not been, mm. people have been sending me so much messages about how they're spreading the press. I don't want anybody to know I have my phone. Yeah. So I'll do uh, First things first, I don't want anybody to know I have my phone. That is why, but risky, I've not been responding to people sending me messages. But let's continue. Uh, I don't want to talk to somebody that I know that uh, I can trust. Yeah. You know, yeah. So, uh, obviously, you knew, you knew what happened to me, right? Mm -hmm. So, before the EFC, they, of course, they were investigating. They were investigating me, you mm. know, about the cars, money, and everything, all this while. So I knew one day, one day they would come for me like this mm. because of the noise and all that. But it's, it's fine. So when they were investigating me, they blocked my account, they freeze my account. Obviously, they don't want me to do any transaction on it while they are doing the, mm. their ongoing investigation. Mm. Okay. Now, before we continue, the revelation of EFCC in the House of Rep. EFCC said they never froze his account. Now, Bob is saying his account was frozen. Let's continue. So, but I'm so glad that they did not. At first, they added money laundry charges in their, yeah. in their charge because of the money they saw in my account and all the money that passed through my account, at least. They were able, so, they just saw so money share. But we're able to beg them and mm. give them some money so that they can drop the money laundering charges with us. Mm. 
Now, he said they saw some money in his account and some money that passed through his account. So they investigated him for money laundry. But they begged and they paid the FCC some money and the money laundry charges were dropped. This is another recording entirely. So let's continue anyways. I can't be facing money laundry charges. Go for a bit. Mm. You know, of money. I don't say that one. I, I just, I find, they're looking for something to just hold me. They yeah. just eat that. Mm. It's not like I'm the only one that spread money. Yeah. There are a lot of people spreading money out there. Killing <laughs> food. But you choose, you want to uh, convince me because mm. of spraying money. And that's quite weird. Mm. But, you know, me, I'm strong. And I'm ready for anything that comes my way. Because, I don't know. I don't know. No, obviously, I knew the old NV, 8, the 8 art, Shana Oli Arm, Shana Oli Arm. I knew one day, one day to get to this, you know. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. another thing that made me happy was the fact that they did a proper investigation on me. And they noticed that I am not into money laundry. Mm. And I'm not into fraud. Yeah. Every money, the car, they came to my house, they carried my car now. They carried my car, they carried everything, you know, because they were doing, they, they thought coming to me, they will see people I do business with. So EFCC went to his house, they carried his cars. While we were out in the house of Red, EFCC said they did not freeze his account. Now, Bob Bisky is saying his account was frozen and EFCC even went to his house to carry his car. Let's continue. This ring lights bless you on the week. WhatsApp or an email. But it's also that they were not able to find any, any of such. My money is legit. I keep saying this thing, but people don't believe. They keep they think I'm into fraud or I'm into picking money for politicians or whatever. But they run a proper checkup and they couldn't even find any of that on me. All the money I have. This same person that is saying that they saw some money that passed through his account. Do you understand? After saying the truth the first time, like saying don't know, saying don't cast. He concretely tried to correct what he said. So in one breath, you are saying they saw some money in your account that you paid the FCC. In another breath, you're saying, oh, the money that you're having is a legit money. But let's continue anyways. All the money I have are genuine. And the sources are... are like most of my influencing, you know, like that, that, that day I called the old man wants to pay me 10,000 pounds. And I think that it's for, it's for influencing. So, you know, like people, they, they don't know how I charge, I charge a lot of money for influencing. They don't know, you know. So, but I made them to understand that I charge as far as $100,000 to influence. $100,000 for influencing. Then the hundred thousand dollars for influencing is CFCC. Now go really invest. Nana, I'm really curious of the amount CFCC saw in this account. You understand? Ah, okay. Let's go on. So if you think you cannot do it, all fingers are equal. Some other people do it, and trust me, God bless, God bless the also. Mm. So you know they did all that, and obviously I met a very terrible judge. The judge wasn't coming. The judge wasn't there as well. Coming, coming. He's not there. Okay, can you excuse me? I'm on the phone. Yeah. So. Wait, wait, wait. Before we continue, coming, coming. That means Bob Risky obviously had like a maid, like somebody helping him in the house. Obviously, this part you will know that he is not in prison. But the good part is that the person now asked him. Let's continue. Um, where, where are you like this? Um, um, truth be told, I don't lie to you. You're my person. Mm. I'm not in prison, but I'm around there. They, oh. they go in an apartment, oh, you know, okay. because of my godfather. Mm. My god, my godfather was able to tell me, never, you will not smell that prison. Let the world think you're different, but you will never, mm. you know. So I was able to talk to the deputy um, controller in Nigeria and they said that in as much as Bob is not, Bob is not, they only have a problem with Bob. If Bob is not posting anything, Bob is not saying anything, Bob is not doing anything, that they can put me close to the place. So I can always come inside and see people as I see. I'm welcoming my family yeah. that nobody needs to know, to understand. So 
to my house. So basically, Bob was put outside the prison, close to the prison in an apartment. So anytime he has like a visitor, he will quickly come inside the prison and welcome his visitor and his family members. Now, I remember that when we were at the House of Reps for the investigation, one of the prison wardens said, oh, he has the list of the people that came to visit Bob. So basically, anytime that Bob, people want to come and visit Bob, they'll quickly tell him to rush and come back to the prison to come and see the people that want to visit him. Let's continue. So I'm, I'm just close. I'm close to the premises, but I'm not in there because they are all scared of why do, why do we want to put you in a new facility where, you know, they are scared of um, harassment and everything. So, so but nobody knows this information. It's just you. Okay. So, yeah, that's a, that's that aside. Then, secondly, uh, my, my co-father has done a lot. That's why I don't want to call it for any more requests because putting me out here alone in this apartment, I am well-furnished apartments alone is is something. He paid the whole lot. So my lawyer called me and said, so they are he got me a son. My godfather got me a new son. So mm -hmm. now we are trying to get the pardon from the federal. You heard, the godfather gave him a son. He got him a son. Now, in the other recording I played, he shared he spoke to Files, and Files spoke to his father, according to the other one. And in this other one now, he's saying that um, his godfather got him his son, meaning the story of his son. I don't know if it's true, but this is the second time he's calling his son in two different um, conversations with two different people. Feel free to like, share, and comment your mind on top of every of our stories. And most important, make you hit the subscribe button today for more to read.